our final 80s factoids of the day. Slang words. We said gnarly, and that meant cool. Grody was disgusting. Like totally, well, you know, we're still saying, saying that. Rad was awesome. And then dude dudette. Is, I guess that was the year, 82, believe it or not, that we, uh, we, was, we were using dude and dudette. Uh, more often. And most of those words describe Stephanie Godkey. <laughs> dude, a gnarly rad dudette. Here to share our final treats of the day. Yes. And actually, Stephanie came up with her own slang word I did. that I is now popular everywhere. Everywhere. I wrote the word foodie. 1986. S Stephanie came up with that. In the, in the Tomes Pressler magazine that we sent out to all the restaurants. She wrote foodie, meaning a person who's a fan of Who, all kinds and they of... And they were coming into the restaurant arguing with the chefs for the first time ever. And we needed a word for them. Yeah. So, foodie, we're going to wow. have... You remember fondue? Did you ever go to a fondue? I think fondue is a little gnarly. But. Yeah, well, it's... You, dude, come on. <laughs> Do that. I love the duet. Okay, duet. so, you know, fondue was good and was great and like if you got married those years you got fondue sets like lots of them yeah well now they make a little individual one the oh, year of covid this. look at that little individual you put your little candle put under the little, there little votive in here little tea, little, tea candle because i guess this would be a really good way to share germs but it, yeah I but know. if you were dating and you so were the, supposed to share warm it up and then and this is a cute little way to do fun i know if you're right? into that yeah. and then and then if you dip your food in there and it falls off it's not a big deal because it's yours because it's your own right okay so to make a chocolate fondue we took the best chocolate chips you can buy Your and jelly. poured them in with some butter these and are endorsed by yes. this dudette right here <laughs> yeah milk chocolate here delis and of course you need cream lots and lots of cream because and whatever i don't even know what fat free cream is but they've got that yeah fat free half and half yeah you know what it actually they thicken it with a an artificial thickener and sweeten it with corn syrup I know. so it's, it's not, really not i mean no i'm figuring yeah. you know what we don't drink a quart of cream just no. go ahead have a few tablespoons yeah. okay so you make it nice and smooth and then here comes the good part okay oh we're going with coffee the since boost. you and i love chocolate I know. and coffee we're going and don't set yourself on fire glug sometimes. glug <laughs> i know don't set yourself on fire sometimes if you're pouring alcohol into a gas flame which one did you use what is coffee? this coffee oh what is this it's the coffee liqueur mm -hmm. okay okay so from mississippi yeah yeah here we go so it's nice and warm nice and smooth you're going to pour it into your Where you fondue pot Okay, you're gonna pour it in a little. I'm pot gonna right try. Here? Okay, I'm gonna make it a best shot. Well, this is gonna be great. Okay, now you're gonna try some with. Okay. Look at all the dippers we've got look over here. Look at all the little guys over here. We got dippers. Mm -hmm. You can also start from scratch. If or, you... or just do like this. Yeah. So you can do little eclairs. Uh, yes, you can do fruit. Um, if you want to be real healthy, you know, I have found that um, a really good one is the dried mandarin oranges in chocolate. Delicious. Oh, oh I bet. And it's orange and coffee, That's so good. it's kind of like breakfast, only better. And then, Time to drink. Okay, so this is the bourbon peach tea, which is my favorite because I love me some bourbon. But because it's your anniversary show, uh -huh. I brought the cucumber spritzer. No! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love Nathan it. Nathan is kind of a genius. He thought of a cucumber spritzer. Yeah, it's oh, got... Oh, <laughs> that's spritzing all right. It is. And there's some on ice for you to try. Okay. There's mine right there. Yeah. And then what do you I like drink? the bourbon tea it's iced tea with the with the bourbon and the peach liqueur big peach these are the cocktails to go yes you that, just, that that ryan has really become famous for right because people don't know how to mix them at home but they want to have a nice party have a bar you just put them out and they're ready to go right so these drinks and then if you hopefully you didn't miss the, the whole show earlier <laughs> hopefully because we did again. all the little savories that right. were popular in 1982 mm -hmm. the uh the pigs in a blanket the the pickle roll-ups that are back which were calling Minnesota sushi. Min Minnesota sushi. I know, I love it. And then there's a little pigs in the blanket. Pigs in a ranch blanket. In the ranch blanket. Because <laughs> you got to cover yourself with ranch. Well, ranch, right? And dip them in ranch then. Yeah. Or honey mustard. And whichever. the individualized, where do you get these for your um, fondues? Am Amazon. Or and you know what else is going to be great is I like to serve um, melted butter with seafood. And you could put the butter in there with a little candle under oh, it, that and it would be great. Yes. And, you know, there's just all kinds of ways you can use this. I never buy anything that I can only use one way because I don't have that kind of storage. Wow. But anyway. Well, we're going to wrap it for now. And this is really a fun show. And that just, <laughs> that, we, we use the excuse of my anniversary to go back <laughs> to the 80s. But thank you for those, all those wonderful messages, you guys, and for my coworkers here, Sharon, who's getting ready for the 
the news next. You're and, well and, and, loved. and for you, my friend, this is really fun. Yes. Thank you for being here for oh, that. Thank, thank you as well. Thank, have a great evening, everybody. There's Sharon next at four.